Hello friend, welcome back. In your previous video, I already discussed about that things with you, how can manage your comments and how can reply your comments, each and everything I did on particular that position. So in this video, I want to show you another thing. Like here, you can see they have some of the logo. So that is our admin logo. And also if you go to our main page and into the main page, they have also another logo. That means that is our news portal logo. And also in our title area, there have should be some of the favcons. So how can add that favcon? How can add that logo? And also this admin logo. So how can manage all the things dynamically from your backend? In this video, I will show you that things with the live example. So for doing this, first of all, we have to do, we have to create one of the model and we have to migrate it. Okay, so for doing this, we have to go our our project so that is our project and here i just want to run ours in the cmd and into the cmd first of all i want to create one of the model as a php artisan and then the make and the model okay and now i want to create one of the model as a setting and here i just want to migrate it so i just define as a hyphen and then m and I click on the enter so here our model created successful and also migrated created successfully. So now if you go to our project and here in our database, in our database that is actually migration and into the migration here I create a new one that is a setting table, right? So now first of all I have to do, I have to open it. So I already discussed about that things with you, what exactly the procedure, how you can actually migrate it and how you can actually create your all the table field on particular that position. So first of all, for the setting here, I want to do, I want to take, uh, like I just take some of the field for this one, like here I just paste it, okay. So first of all, that is it would be the ID and then I want to take another table as a name and into the name, it should be the e string, okay, I just define as a string and also I take another field, so like as a value. Okay, I just define as a value and this value will be the long text. So I just define that long text. And then these two will be enough. Okay, so right now I only want to uh, take two of this. And like first of all, that is would be the ID and then there is a, one of the field as a name. I just define as a string and the value for the value I just define as a long text. Okay, so it's perfect. Now I just click on the save all. And after the save all, I want to migrate it. So here, here I name it as a PHP artisan and then migrate. Okay, so here I just define a PHP artisan and migrate. So now I click on the enter. So here you can see our migrate is now complete. So after that, if you go to your database, like here in our database, now I just refresh our database again. And now here you can see they have another new table is added on particular that position as a settings. So if you go to the settings and into the setting, you can see there is an ID. So that is a name field added on particular that position and also the value is added. So now here I want to do, I want to insert some of the demo data that it should be better. Like I just click on the insert and for the insert, like first of all, there is a name. So for the name, I just define as a system name system underscore name okay i just defining it and this name will be i just like my news so this type of one of the value i just add on particular that position then i just want to take another one so here i just click on the ignore and for now there is a name so here i just want to add another one for the favcon okay so here i just define as a favcon f-a-v-i con okay and here into the value option I just define as a favcon will be like as a PNG. So I just define as a favcon. Okay, favcon and I just define as a dot PNG. And then also we need another one like for this logo and also there is our admin logo. So for two of these I just want to add another two field. Okay, like here uh, into this position I just take three and another one as a four. So I just take four field for this one. So that is actually the favcon and then I just define another one. So on particular that position for the font, font underscore logo. Okay, I just define as a font logo and here I just define as a font logo, font underscore logo dot png. 
and then I also want to take another one for our admin so here it is defined as the admin underscore logo and here it is defined as the admin underscore logo dot png so this type of one of the fields for field I just added some of these are some of the data on particular that position that is a font logo that's one for the favcon and that's one for the our site name okay that means the system name so now it's perfect so now I just click on the go like here after that I just click on the go and now if you click on the browse so here you can see they have all that field there is the ID there is a name into the name I just defined some of the name on particular that position and for the value I just added some of the value on here okay so right now I just make the things null as a for the create date and the update date so it's not be needed okay so now then we have to do we have to actually upload all the pictures like this picture will be uploaded from the back end so they have fabcon the fabcon also I just want to upload it from the back end so where exactly all that file will be uploaded so we have to actually make that uh, we have to create it like here if you go to that position that is a public so in our public uh, in particular that position I want to create one of the folder like here I want to create one of the folder as a um, other okay so here I just define as a others so before I already define one of the folder name as a post so all that news related images will be uh, added inserted on particular that folder so right now I created another folder as the others so all that our images that means the logo all that images will be inserted on particular that folder okay so I hope you can well understand about it and then I have to do I have to uh, create one of the view file like here if you go to the resources and the view uh, in our view that is the admin and if the admin here I want to create another folder so here I just name it as a setting okay, I just define name it as a setting and into the setting folder here I want to create another file like I just click on the save as and here I just name it as a update okay update.blade.php I just name it and save it and now this update blade will be just look like our like in our category there is the edit blade okay for now I just copy whole things from here I just copy whole things from to this position and I just paste it so now I want to do I want to actually customize it like here um, there is a message there is a page name so after that there is a model so now that will be the actually open form so I just define as open okay I just define as open and in particular that position so we don't need this so I just remove it from here there is a route I just define as a URL on here okay I just define as a URL and particular that position it should be uh, like I just remove it and that's also we don't need this so I just remove it also from here then the method the method will be actually the port method okay because here I want to insert the data so now we also have to finish it so I just remove that things from here so here I have to define one of the URL okay so I just define one of the URL as a back and then I want to define as a setting and then I just define one of the method as an update method okay so I just define as an update method on particular that position and also here I want to do I want to actually add load the images for the images I already discussed about that things with you if you go to that post edit page and here you can say I just use that and NC type so for now I just copy that NC type from here and I just added that things on particular that position with the comma and then I just add it on here so here I just take the form that is the open form so this should be on the array so better I just added the um, third bracket okay I have to finish it after this that means this data so here I just finish our third bracket on particular that position so now it's perfect so now here I just define that open and into this open here I just define that array I just define that URL on particular that position and here I just define that back setting and update so that's the URL we have to assign in our route so I will do that things later and now there is a method as a put method and here I want to upload the images okay for the reasons here I just define that ANC type and the multi part the form data and I just finish that things from to on particular that position so now then the field so that is actually the name field and if you go to our database like here there is a name field there is a okay and in particular that name field here for the name I just define that name name 
so that is the perfect so we don't need to change anything on particular that position okay and other than you can also define as a system name for that i just define as a this field as a system name that should be better okay i just define as a system name system name on particular that position and also we have to do we have to get that data with one with this one variable on particular that position okay so i will create that variable later but right now i just want to do i just added as a system okay system underscore name so this type of thing so so there's the variable i will create that things in our controller okay so when you create the controller in our controller we have to assign some of the method and into the method i just want to assign that i just load that things on particular that position okay so now there is a text so text type and here i just define that name and then there is a variable so i will do that things later i hope it will be very much clear to you later and also i want to do i want to add our images uh, like there is the images field so here i just copy it okay so i just copy that image field and in particular that position I need actually three images for the favcon, for the font logo and the admin logo. Okay. So for now, I just define the three, like one, two and the three. So here, first of all, it should be the favcon. So I just define that favicon. Okay. So I just define the favicon. Then its name is, it will be the favicon. The file will be the favicon. So I just assign that things on here. So for now, that is actually our level. So I just define as a favcon, and also I define as a font logo and then admin logo. So I just define that font logo for this one. Okay, I just define that font logo for this one, and better I just define as a font, and then I just make the things as a capital. Okay, that will be the level is a font logo, and also another one is the admin logo. So I just uh, define that admin logo for this one. The admin logo admin logo and here i just define the admin logo so for the admin logo level i just define as a capital letter okay so that is the admin and here i just define that admin logo so i hope it's very much clear to you here i just added our three field and there is another one so that is a system name so now i have to do i have to create the route so if you go to the route area like here and there is a route and there is a web route and particular that positions now i want to create all the route for the setting okay like here better i just copy it so now this should be first of all i just want to get that data so here i just define that gate and here i just define that setting okay i just define other settings on particular that positions right now we don't need this so i just remove all the things from here so that should be our routes and our slash and the settings and then in our admin folder i have to create one of the controller so i will create one of the controller as a setting okay setting and controller and in our setting controller controller i want to access the index method so here i just define that index and then its name i just define that name as a setting so here i just define that name okay i just define that name as a setting and also here in our middleware you have to add some of the permission for this one so right now all is okay with me so now we have to do we have to create that controller okay so now i just better I just copy it and now go to our this position and here i want to create as a php artisan and then i want to make controller okay i just define that make controller and here i want to create one of the controller as a admin and the setting controller so right now i just want to create one of the plane controllers so for now I click on the enter so now you can see there is a controller created successfully so now if you go to that our controller area like here that in our app http and the controller in our admin folder i created one of the controller as a setting controller so now we have to do we have to create one of the methods so here i just define one of the method as index method and into the index method first of all i want to load that page okay and after that loading then i will update that means this url i will do that things later so first of all i just want to load it so how can do that work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video